Nom 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 without incident and buckle down for another lecture. All right. We're moving on to the next chapter in algebra. My mind quickly got each selection. Everything is so fit told me earlier. The character from Soul Edge? Yes. <laughs> that that is what I've been getting at. I'm glad you picked up on it. Well, you haven't pronounced it right. Sophitia? I don't think it's as pronounced. It is in, uh, in, uh, in Soul Caliber 2 and on. And the other ones, they say Sophitia, but in uh, all the ones after that, they say Sophitia. Wow. They're... That seems yeah. like an oversight. <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, in the other ones, they say Siegfried instead of Siegfried. No, that's, that's how it's pronounced. They don't pronounce I know, it. and I think it's supposed to be Sophitia in the original uh, language also. It's just we say Sophitia because oh. we're Americans. Yeah, we are stupid. We also say Siegfried instead of Siegfried. Well, that's... See, the thing is, though, it's accepted in our culture. Yeah, <laughs> and we say Rammstein instead of Rammstein. Well, that one, that one probably should be Rammstein. Yeah, well... Siegfried, Siegfried is, you know, that's american -ing. Siegfried. By the way, is Alex suddenly one of those infamous heartbreaker? He always seems like one of those awkward guys who's more interested in animated girls. Or is he perhaps aware that all of the girls are animated because he's Deadpool? Oh my god. Oh well, I'll be seeing him today. I can always ask him slash punch him in the dick. <laughs> As soon as class is over, I pack up my sandwiches and leave. And prepare for dick punching. Oh, no, not the hallway. Okay, thank God. Oh, oh, oh for God's business. sakes. I dump my books in the room and quickly change out of my uniform to something a little more comfortable. I'm going to bang Alex. Yeah, I know. <laughs> gotta... Oh, my God. Oh, I forgot how dashing and handsome he is. I know, oh. right? I oh, is. Mm. I read his lines last time, didn't I? Yeah, I don't remember what voice he used, though. <sighs> Can't you read the lines? No! I'm already reading the narrator and the main character, and that apparently composes for half the goddamn dialogue of this freaking game. Hey, Ryu. <laughs> Glad you could make it. Let's head over to the cosplay cafe. Oh my god, I forgot about the creepy doll face. <laughs> How did you con me into playing this game again, Relic? Wait, did I read that wrong? Oh. How did you con me into this again? Ah! I don't think I want to be here. <laughs> but then weird. again, there are maids. I like it. No, oh, dear. <laughs> you should watch American you know, Story. In, in all honesty, there are actually maid cafes in Japan. Yes, I know. That's just freaking weird. There's also butler cafes. Or at least they had <laughs> even playing field. Uh-huh. Welcome back, man. Okay, no. Out. Out. Do they actually say that in the real maid cafes? Out, out? No. Come back, man. Welcome back, master. I don't know. Because if they say master in the real maid cafes, I don't, I don't know if I can deal with it. <laughs> I, I, I'm not very experienced in maid cafes, really. Like, I'm not even facing my computer right now. That's how disgusted I am with that line. Oh. Read it. I'm oh. not the fucking maid. I'm the main character and the narrator. Hey. Whoa, that's weird. No, you be the maid. I don't want to read her lines. I'm not being the maid. You had one job, Relic, to read every single character <laughs> that is not the narrator and the main character. One job! <laughs> I'm not used to being called master, at least not in a public space. And you're not making it any better. <laughs> oh, Look, Relic, there's nothing wrong with implied slavery. <sighs> Bondage. Bondage. Relic, service Relic, service Relic. Service. Read the line, Relic. It looks like we have a new master. Or, or we can stop playing the game forever. I mean, that's also a possibility. That is correct! <laughs> to both statements. <laughs> Ryu. I would like for you to meet with one of the maids. She works here. I'm very happy that you could come see me today, Masters. Is that? That doesn't sound correct, but maybe it is. I don't know. May I take your orders? We'll both have today's special. 
Whoa, Alex, you're not the master of me. I will order myself. I'll have what he's having. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Two specials coming right up. I wonder if a woman comes in here, if she'd be called mistress? No, no women allowed. Unless they're made out of I'm just, I'm just curious if that's the real state. If that's, if that's how this anime world works. Yes. What's today's special? Please, nothing sexual. Please, nothing special. <laughs> Whatever old stuff they have lying around, I guess. Ah, oh, sexuality. <laughs> well, today it's the uh, upside down hand job. <laughs> and. I'm kidding. The food here really is good. Just take it in slowly and absorb the culture. Mm -hmm. Yep, sexual. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to. Why not? <laughs> hey, Alex, have you abused any girls late? Oh, wait. What? What? Wait. What? Do you think it's weird to have a cute girl curly master? Okay, it's weird, but hey, at least she's cute. And maids are wonderful. Wonderful! <laughs> I glance up around the cafe. Eyes... Eyeing the brightly colored posters and figures that are scattered around the place. That's the anime stuff. I make a bland observation, trying not to stare at the other patrons. I wonder what attracts people to places like this. Do they sell anime stuff here? They do. There's plenty of manga you can buy too if you're interested. Alright, that's redeeming. Ooh. And they sell enough to buy a widescreen TV. Boop. And out of the SGTV set up in the far corner of the cafe is currently displaying brightly colored images perked up the dancing girls to some high energy song. Big screens actually aren't that uncommon in these kinds of cafes. Sometimes cafes even hold events where they show anime specials. It's great because I can watch the drama unfold on an expensive high definition screen. Uh, it sounds, it sounds like fun. It's fun. It is. I even went to an anime convention in Japan. There were about half a million attendees. I don't know that first part of the sentence sounded like a way more appropriate voice for this weirdo. Wow. Get not to jam, it's a coming back. Uh. I didn't realize it was that popular. It's not as much of a niche genre as it used to be. Ah. She's ruining my my, my Nazi German. <laughs> well, maybe she's a Nazi German. I brought your orders. Two <laughs> I can't do that. No, that was great. Two strawberry sundaes. <laughs> Please enjoy, masters. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no. Are you coming again on Friday this week? Coming again. <laughs> I can't Every wait to I see a childhood friend win for once. I don't know. The... Um... Sunder? Would the T and the E be silent? Suit... It's suit... Mm, dury... Suit... Uh, it's suit. That's the first three letters. But then I don't know how the N integrates. I swear I know that word, do. There's no N. Wait, oh yeah, there is. There is. Yeah... Uh, Suit, 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 dirt, dirt. Did you do? Did it? Suit, suit dirty is a Japanese character development process that describes a person who was incidentally cold. Oh, that. Yeah, okay, I do know that word. Uh, it's like a character that's hostile but actually like loves the character. And there's type ones and type twos. The type twos, I think, usually end up trying to murder the main character. Um. There's that redhead girl in uh, another that counts as it. I, but how does it integrate into the story? I don't know. And how do you pronounce the word? More importantly. Um. I don't know. The T seems to be the only one. Who <laughs> <laughs> You're a traitor. <laughs> that that's actually appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> That, that's like way more appropriate than I think you realize. Oh, I realize. I okay. Realize what on earth are they talking about? This freaking book crap. This maid seems to notice my confusion, but she turns to me and hands me a card. 
You know, I'm okay with everything in this cafe except for the maid part. Like, anime's great. Why do you say that, Master? It's okay when you say it, Cross. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> You're ruining this for me, Relic. Oh, am I? <sighs> no, the game is ruining it for me. Please go on. Since you're new here, please fill our survey out. You'll be entered into a drawing to win the special ed edition of Storytellers Eternal. Yay. What is... I feel no. like that's, um... I feel like I would know what that's... what that is. Wow, like what that's, you know, making fun of. Wow, that's a pretty sweet prize. That game is expensive. Would you like to fill one out too? No. No, it's oh. just hands, Alex. Of course! The production values on that game are fantastic, and the character designs by Natsuki Akashima are as incredible as always. I loved her work. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. I sound like a male name. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. I loved her work on the <coughs> two cat girl twins from the series with the aliens. Um, that sounds about right. Yeah. I'm finding it hard to believe that this guy is ever a legendary playboy. What sort of girl falls for a loser guy who says things like cat girl twins with alien si- Oh, the good ones. The good girls. The good girls do. The ones that are awesome. But I guess the best way to find out is to ask. I quickly fill out the survey and scribble in my email and the other contact crap and enter the card of the maid. Who cares? I'm not going to answer the email. Thank you very much, master. All right. I'm done, too. Yay, he hands her the card. <laughs> Thank you very much, Master. I hope you two enjoy your Sundays. That's a word I never knew how to spell. Mm. Till now. Now I know how to spell Sundays. Mm. For the next eight seconds. Mm. Spell it. S-U-N-D-A-E-S. Hooray! Now that the maid is gone, Relic can spell Sundays. It's probably a good idea time to confront Alex. So, Alex, abuse <gasps> the girls It's lately. incorrectly spelled again! Wait, so Alex... Ayy! Ayy! I have to ask you a question. Ayy! I have to Ay. ask you a question. I didn't know you were at the Fonz. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, Rio for now the Fonz. Ayy! <laughs> sure thing. You can ask me anything about romantic games! Hey, no, it's not about what I've heard. I've heard that you're a player. I don't know. I don't know how to do fans. I don't know how to do it. Of course. <laughs> I really enjoy fighting games, too. No, not that kind of player. I mean, like, a player, you know? Like a player? No, I don't know. <laughs> like purple hats, you know? Uh, no. I mean, like, a guy who, like, picks up, like, chickens. Chicken? So you mean like a Harvest Moon? Yeah, it's like in Harvest Moon. Oh no. Oh. Never mind then. <laughs> well, I have been playing a lot of romance games lately. Oh my god, his face got murderously serious. No! No, no. I met in real life picking up real girls with real live flesh that's also anime. It's a game to him. Ryu, don't be silly. Dating sims don't actually represent reality. If you teased a T in real life, I bet she'd hate you. I'm there afraid... are no T's in real life, but that's the... Oh my god. I'm afraid none of the techniques in the romance <laughs> games will help you get a girlfriend. Um, Alex, listen. I heard you used to be a notorious pickup artist from a group called The Wings of Light! Oh, is that, is that still... Is, I, I want to look at more things. I need to know if it's true. I... I need help. Ryu, I don't... My friend Claire has an abusive boyfriend, and I need to find a way to break him up. Bash his glass. Desk. That's what I would do if I didn't want no. to hurt my wrist. First you have to train your strength, Stead. Well, I don't want to, I don't want to hurt my wrist hitting it really hard. Oh. Oh. Okay. If you know anything, I need your help, please. It is here. <laughs> You're serious, aren't you? Listen, Ryu. I'm just an otaku. I like anime girls. 
and dating sims don't reflect real relationships. Right! Did I read that with the proper inflection? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. For some reason, he seems to be acting really evasive. <laughs> if he really isn't one of those players, shouldn't he just say so outright? He pretty much did, but okay. But if he doesn't want to talk about it, I can't force him. At least not until I train my strengths, Dad. Maybe if I... And force it. Yeah, just, just punch him a lot of times. Yeah. Maybe if I ask him about it in an indirect way. I mean, his neck is so weak. Yeah, so pretty subtle. much. Okay, Ryu. If you were a tree, would you abuse Claire? No? No, oh, okay, that doesn't work. All right, then. If you did make your own dating sim, what would you do to make it more realistic? Hmm. That's a good question. Well, first, I would have not just HP and MP, but also a special, special stat called PERSONAL STRENGTH! <laughs> Why would you have MP in a dating sim? Well, I was, I, was, I was just pointing out the fact that we're playing a dating sim and they finally tell us what PS means! Oh, Douchebags. <laughs> we don't have MP! Why would we have MP? What dating magic. sim has MP? <laughs> dating sims with magic? Long live the queen? <laughs> that doesn't have MP! That oh. has, you did music right or you did music wrong. Yeah, I meant Magical Diary. Oh. Fair enough. That has both. That is true. Personal strength. What's that? <laughs> it would be a stat that symbolizes things like your confidence and self-esteem. If your PS is low, then you won't have good conversations with your dates, or you might have fewer choices to improve your relationship. Is he fourth wall breakingly giving us a tutorial? I think so. This is. Oh my god. Hey guys, it's only been three hours! <laughs> to be honest, if we were reading it properly, this is probably only 10 minutes of gameplay. <laughs> but okay! But how do you gain or lose PS? Like, if you just ran through the rain, would you just lose your personal strength for some reason? If you want to improve your intelligence, then do you study? If you want to improve your physical stats, you work out. What about PlayStation? Well, you could rest, but that's a pretty inefficient way of increasing your personal strength. I agree. Good word. You would mainly gain it through successful social interactions. Basically, hanging out with people. Making poor choices in your interactions would decrease your PS stat, though. Oh, oh, okay, so it, like, would be really bad at, like, this low PS stat, and you kept on getting bad choices, which would further reduce your PlayStation stats? Hmm, I suppose. It's a bit of a game balance issue, but I think there are a few ways to get out of it. Like? <clears throat> Maybe talking to other people who aren't your romantic interests. Alex, please raise my PS. I lost it by running through the rain. <laughs> please give me an erection. <laughs> so, talking to your other friends? Yeah. It's a little cliche, but you typically have at least one character that acts as an informant. Talking to him would help, because it has to be a guy, because it's me, because I don't want you to know that I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Hallway Girl, though. <laughs> I know, but he's trying to he's trying to be elusive, remember? Yeah, oh yeah. An informant. Well, I have one of those already, but I don't know how much I can trust her. But I guess it would be game breaking if you could just gain PS every time you called up the information menu. Why? I wonder how I could fix that though. Hmm. Okay. Um that did not garner it I don't feel like we're getting closer to the information main character. You're an idiot. Okay, so having PS is generally a good idea. Yep, and the PS stat has a maximum that it can go up to, but it wouldn't change as fast as HP and MP would. I hate this game. <laughs> because I'm now feeling like maybe the real game hasn't started. 
Yeah, and I know. Just... That's what I'm feeling too. And I'm kind of <laughs> like, should we just power through this bullshit now? Or I'm starting to think so because if this is if this is literally true and the game hasn't started yet, what the hell? All right, all right. You know, what? we're not gonna read any more of this PS thing. All right, I'm just gonna skip through for a little bit. Yeah, it's been like maybe three seconds in each screen. No, I'm just, I'm just. Okay. All right. This seems like we might actually be getting back to. Hey, are you the? Are you the? Are you the slut? Yeah. Are you the hoe? Are you the tramp? Okay, okay. So how do you actually get into a date with a goyle? Uh, let me read this first. Oh my god. No, you know what? Fuck this. Yeah, this is dumb. This is more like... Wait, I think they just made a... I think they just made a joke about how... Uh, about the, um... About the freaking drinks that we had earlier. <laughs> They're mocking their own game. How many... There's, there's only four walls. You can't break more... <laughs> Four walls, you can't break the fifth wall, because that'd be a weirdly shaped house. Oh, man, this thing is so well I'm, I'm done. I don't... And then little does the main ca- Oh, What the fuck? Oh, oh, God. The upcoming magical No, no, fight. we read this. We read this. Way to have the same dream that ends with an email. Yeah, I don't... Is this... Is this... Apparently, our character is so boring that he stopped having a dream about being a magical gladiator and is now dreaming about answering his email. Do we read this? Or were you looking for me? The pl the the player. Wait. Oh. So wait. Wait. What? Oh. Are we awake or is what is? I don't know. I don't know, relic. I don't know, relic. <laughs> Okay, that's kind know, of legitimately like... creepy, though. <laughs> Body of the email. I heard that you were wait, looking. This is mine. For me. Remember, oh. he's going to be British. Oh, wait, no, that's that's Sabius' boyfriend. This is yeah, and it, it's me reading it. It's fun. <laughs> because be a British guy. No, you can. It's just I'm reading the email. You like, it doesn't have to be like in the sitcoms where the person starts reading the. E or it could be. It could be where I start reading the email and then it slowly swi switches to your voice. Uh, no. no. So wait. So like, hit the nest button. No, just. Just hit no. the button. I already I have read spots it. Spots on my freaking computer, and I'm trying to get rid of them. Oh my gosh! I just cleaned this thing. Um. But. Oh. Oh, okay. What the? It's him. There are a couple of them too. This is really obnoxious. I'm. I thought. I thought that it was wrong to do the things I do. I realize now that there are far greater evils out there. Wah, wah. Oh, whoops! Oh, well. I'll give you a little help, but you must not tell anyone about. I can. I cannot get over the freaking black text with the white outline on the black background. Don't. Looks fine to me. It's really hard to read. That's like not something that you do. At least not with the stroke sizes. That's thick. I don't know. Looks fine to me. It's not. It's not relic. I think you're just a baby. It's not a dyslexic little baby. I have. That's it. I'm done. I'm <laughs> done. <laughs> done. I'm done. I'm done. This game makes bad graphic design choices, and I'm done. This better. Yes! <laughs> Why would you even need to ask? Like, seriously, that is a horrible graphic design thing to make black text. I don't... Oh, my God. Not with it. Like, that. Th it's so thick. It's so thick. It's so thick. You're the narrator now. I'm done. Keep reading. Go. No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. It's over. The game's over. I'm done. I can I didn't know it at the time, but my world was already changing. I hope they throw up the title screen. Oh my god, wait, are they actually gonna do it? Was well, I was just kidding. A chance to change fate. Sakura. Wait, did the game just end? Wait, what? Relic, were we playing a I was right! What? Relic, we've been playing the intro the whole time. Just stop, I wanna at least enjoy this before I, before I get mad. No. <laughs> Really? Shh. I'm enjoying the music. I can't hear the music. Yeah, so shut up. No. Relic, I'm done. I'm done with this game. It's over. You shut up. You shut your dumb face, Relic. Please let me enjoy this!
No! You don't deserve to enjoy this relic! You've wrought hours of pain upon me! That's her boyfriend, or is that us? I don't know! It got a pretty cool, in like, little intro thing, though. Relic. Like, if I had saw this... I wouldn't hate this game so much <laughs> before like, playing it. This is like, relic. Relic, we've been playing the intro the whole time. Just... We'll get to that in a second! Relic. We'll get to that in a second! I'm enjoying this. Relic. This is pretty good, though! Not without music. I can hear the music, so... And choppy frame rate. Yeah, that's what happens when we're... You know, Skype subscription. Relic. Just... Give me... A minute. Okay. What the fuck? Relic. Relic. We haven't started the game yet. <laughs> The game hasn't started until... I'm suppressing my rage. <laughs> the entire thing was the intro, really. I don't, I don't think you know how, how pissed I am right now. <laughs> the entire thing was the intro. So we just struggled. Let me, let me just clear, let me put this into retrospective for everyone. We just struggled. To, to not completely rage quit out of this game. For probably around three to four hours. Yep. On an intro of bad writing. <laughs> an intro that in no way was cohesive or made us want to continue playing. Oh my god, I can't. I can't. <laughs> and it was before the main game. And they, to top it off, they not only made fun of their own intro, but they had someone explain something that had come up in the intro at the end of the intro. And then they had the intro finally end after four hours. Yeah, the typical playing time for that intro is totally four hours. <laughs> Everyone would take as long as we did. Well, I'm saying for us, that's the situation. Putting it in retrospective yeah. for yeah. us. Yeah. So I'm done with this game, Relic. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like I have to be done, too. Well, Buckus says, nice intro, guys. <laughs> Nailed it! Boom! <laughs>